Hi, I'm Chitra. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Bani Chitra. Like the series I did for Onam, Sadhya recipes, uh, I'm doing for Christmas also, um, which includes the common dishes we do make during Christmas time, like appam, chicken roast, fish ma mapas, cakes and puddings. Today I'm going to make appam. Let's look at the ingredients first. Half a cup of grated coconut, half a cup of cooked rice, one cup of idli rice or sona masuri rice, one teaspoon of instant yeast, three teaspoon of sugar, salt to taste. Before making the batter, we need to active the yeast. For that, in a bowl, I'm going to add some lukewarm water around. 2 to 3 teaspoons. To that, I am adding 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of yeast. Now we can mix this to nicely. Let this rest for 10 minutes. Now we can grind the batter. For that first we need to grind the coconut to a fine paste. I did grind the coconut to a fine paste. I added uh, 2 tablespoons of uh, water in between and again mix and again grind it. So totally I have used 4 tablespoons of water in it. Now I am going to add cooked rice to it. We don't want the rice to be to a fine paste. Uh, just we need just a little bit of lumps in it. I'll show you after grinding it. I've grinded the rice also. I have just coarsely grind the rice. And to this we can add the sugar also. We can blend it again. This batter is ready. Now we can pour this to a mixing bowl. Now we can grind the soaked rice. In the same mixer, add the soaked rice. Because there is only one cup, I am adding in a hole. Add one teaspoon of salt to it. Now we can grind this. I've grind rice also to a fine paste. Now we can uh, add this to the uh, rice batter, cooked rice batter. Now we can mix this thoroughly. We can add our yeast mixture. Because it's, uh, sit, uh, it has sit for uh, 10 minutes. It is active. Now we can add this to the batter. We can mix thoroughly again. Now this batter should sit for at least 8 hours to ferment in a warm place. Upper batter is ready. I did for it did ferment for eight hours, and uh, now we can start making upper. Before that, uh, I'll show you the consistency of the batter. Uh, it should be uh, in a like a bit thick and uh, thin consistency. And uh, we uh, before making the appam, we need to check the salt. For me, the salt is uh, correct. I added a uh, one teaspoon more of salt again. Uh, now we can start making appam. 
This is a kind of utensil which we get for making appam. It is a round at the bottom to make the shape uh, of appam like that. Uh, I'll show you how to make appam in dosha tawa also. Can add the appam batter. Turn it. And close it with a lid. Now I'm going to make appam in the griddle. This is the do regular dosha griddle, and uh, it's not non-stick, not cast iron one. For because because it's cast iron, I'm going to uh, spray some oil in it and wipe with a napkin to get rid of the excess oil. Now we can pour the batter. The low, uh, flame should be in medium low. Now so we can close this with the lid. Just wait for 2 to 3 minutes. Appam is ready. We can take it. Move it to the Plate. Upper and the griddle is also ready. We can move it to the plate.